Hear the word of the Lord for you today. If my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. This word from the Lord comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Now, why did God give this word to his people? It says, right before that, it says, if I shut up the sky so there is no rain, or if I order locusts to devour the land, or if I send an epidemic of sickness among my people, then if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Have we had any of those things happen to us? An epidemic of sickness has been sent to us. God was telling us, listen, my people, turn from your wicked ways, pray to me, seek my face, and have we truly done that? Have we, as God's people, sought his face or have we remained silent? Listen to what this says, the spiral of silence. It refers to the idea that when people fail to speak, the price of speaking rises. As the price to speak rises, still fewer speak out, which further causes this price to speak to rise so that fewer people will yet speak out until a whole culture or nation is silenced. Do you feel silenced? There has been more and more silence. The price to speak is so high because we as the body of Christ have failed to speak on the most important things. You know, our actions illustrate what we believe. If we say that we believe the things in God's word, then how are we acting? On what issues are we being silent and for what reasons? What is wrong with us, including me? Why are we being silent? Listen to this. The unborn are being murdered and their body parts sold for profit. Are we not to mention this for fear of driving someone away from God? Or do we ourselves not quite believe it or wish to believe it? Very young children in the schools are being fed ideas on the subject of sexuality. Ideas with which their young minds are quite unable to cope and to which their own parents object. Older children are being so confused by sexual activists that they agree to have their bodies mutilated so that they can never become the men and women that God created them to be. You know, I thought about recently when Jesus told the people, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, and God that which is God's, to God that which is God's. And that was looking at the coin, give Caesar his taxes, his face is on the coin, but you know what? Our bodies, we are created in the image of God. We are not to give to Caesar our bodies, because they're Caesar's, we are to give our bodies to God because we are his. We are created in his image. We are not to trust ourselves to the American government. We are to trust ourselves, our children, you to God. Socialist and communistic ideas are being pushed everywhere. These will end up harming the poor more than anyone. Although those pushing these ideas boldly spread the lie that anyone who opposes these wicked ideas secretly hate the poor. And you know what we are supposed to do as the church, the body of Christ? We are supposed to care for the orphans and for the widows, those who are poor, who are helpless. And are we speaking out for them? Are we truly caring for them? And part of that speaking out is to first start with us, to pray, to humble ourselves, to turn. Listen to what the Bible says in Jeremiah 8. It says, this is what Adonai the Lord says, if a person falls, doesn't he get back up again? If someone goes astray, doesn't he turn back? Why do these people keep backsliding? Why is their backsliding so persistent? Why they cling to deceit 
and refused to return. I listened attentively, but they spoke nothing right. No one repents of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Each runs off in his own direction like a horse plunging headlong into battle. Storks in the sky know their seasons, doves, swallows, and cranes their migration times. But my people do not know the rulings of Adonai. How can you say we are wise? Adonai's Torah is with us when in fact the lying pen of the scribes has turned it into falsehood. The wise are put to shame, alarmed, entrapped, they have rejected the word of Adonai. So what wisdom do they have? Are we this type of people? People who are going in their own direction, not knowing the truth of Adonai, not speaking it, not living out what we claim to believe. Are you Adonai's chosen one who claims the truth, speaks out the truth? Listen to this prayer talking to God, it ensures that destinies are fulfilled. It ensures that nations stay the course. It ensures the path for the next generation is properly forged. I will end with this found in Jeremiah 7. This nation that has not listened to the voice of Adonai, their God, they won't take correction Faithfulness has perished. It has vanished from their mouths. Is that the way we want to serve our nation? Is that the nation we need to be in? I challenge you to come before God. Humble yourselves. Seek his face. Confess the sins of our nation. We have committed them together. May we humbly come before God and speak up and speak out to make a difference and to forge a path for the next generation. I challenge you to speak up today.